Hey guys, it's Artsy. So today's video is about school. My ambitions, things I'm scared of, things I'm excited about, and just my general thoughts. As you may know, this video happens to be um, a month late. I'm very sorry. I kept on procrastinating doing this and by the time I actually got around to editing or putting the whole thing together, we were already three weeks into school. And here I am, doing the voiceover on September 25th, when I started school on September 6th. So on to the actual premise of the video. The first category I'm going to be tackling today is goals. My goals are, one, to get straight A pluses, two, to put my family first, and three, be a good friend and a nice person to everybody. Now I know that these probably seem like really hard goals to complete and achieve, but I'm a high achiever, so that's kind of what I always do. I aim high, and it's alright if I don't get there. So I've already failed at the straight A pluses one, or I won't say fail, I've already not completely succeeded at the straight A pluses one. I have got some lower grades on just classwork, homework assignments, but all my projects I've done really well on so far. I'm really close with my parents, my mom especially, and honestly my whole family, so that's why I put the second one there. I always feel like I should be putting them first, so that basically means if they want something from me and I have homework to do, I'm going to do the thing that they want me to do first. Last year, I started off my um, friendships with a rocky start, so this year I'm trying to maintain my friendships in a really healthy way and not use them at all, just honestly have a good relationship with everybody in my school, or not everybody in my school, but all of the people I interact with in my school. You may see a pattern in all of my goals, but that's probably because time management is not my greatest strength. But I'm trying to work on it, and I think I'm making some progress. Now, since I've been gone for so long, I feel like I should probably fill you in my life, and just some channel things that I'm going to be changing. So, once I've covered all of the stuff for each topic, I'm going to move on to just additional things that I want to say. I'm going to be using a different script writing style. Um, because my old way was really long and very time consuming and super boring. So I'm basically just going to do bullet points of things that I want to cover and then a list of other things I can talk about if I run out of things to say. Also relating to changes I'm going to make with my channel, I'm going to I think, do a reboot, like just a whole channel reboot. I'm going to be designing or redesigning all of the little icons that need redesigning. I might choose a new aesthetic, but I really like the one I have right now, so I don't think so. Um, I've been trying to make my videos a lot nicer, so this is kind of just contributing to that. FYI, as you might expect, I'm going to be making a video about this whole process. I think it might be the next one that comes out, but I'm not going to be betting on it. After my long posting break over the summer, I think I'm going to be trying to get back to a regular-ish schedule. Of course, I'll be busy some weeks. I won't be able to post every single week. I mean, this video was supposed to be out on Friday, but I had a really busy week, and I was, and still am, a tiny bit under the weather, although I think it might just be allergies. Don't quote me on this, though, because, as you know, I can never seem to keep a schedule with YouTube. So, this drawing is almost done, so I guess that it's time to move on to the next one. Now, the next category I have to tackle is my fears for the school year. So the first thing that I'm scared of is that I'm going to have a fight with someone, whether it be my friends, my family, my boyfriend. The second one kind of relates to the first, it's that my grades will drop because of this fight I have, and then I'll struggle in school, and I really don't want that to happen considering I have to apply to high schools this year. Oh, FYI, I'm in 8th grade. My last, but I think maybe even most scary fear, is not being able to impress my parents. I've been kind of stressed with having to toggle everything recently. No, I'm not talking about YouTube. I really do enjoy that, and I try to push myself to work on videos because I know that I'll have a good time doing it. I really love everyone I'm surrounded by right now, my friends, my family, really anyone else that I get along with. So I think having a fight with anyone would be really difficult for me. And building on what I just said, um, it would probably also affect my grades and how well I focus, and I really don't want that to happen because then it just goes into a spiral of stress, and I don't want to let that ever happen to myself because it has before, and it's not good for productivity or just my mental health. I've always wanted to and for the most part have been able to impress my parents, but as I get older, life has gotten harder, and that's a little more difficult than it used to be. Now I'm done talking about everything in this segment, so on to the next one. 
Lastly are things I'm excited about, and there is a lot of them, but I'm only listing three. Seeing my friends and my boyfriend again every single day of the school year. Getting to see my favorite teachers and have them teach me every single day of the week for the rest of the school year. And honestly, just like the vibe that school does, like, I don't know if I can explain it, but it just gives the good vibes. I love the hustle, the work, everything about it. Expanding. Now, I'm a very social person. Like, I'm definitely an extrovert 100%. I have no introvertedness inside of me. So getting to see everyone all of the time is great. I really enjoy having the communication. There's one teacher I have that I absolutely love. I bring her flowers every single year at the end of the year from We Have a Lilac Brush in Our Backyard. She knows who she is. I don't think that she has my channel, but if she does, um, thank you so much for always being there to talk to, and I'm so glad that I get to have you as a teacher. Well, not anymore, but I'm glad I get to bump into you in the halls. I really love school because um, I hate coming home and have nothing to do, so it gives me something to do, and I'm a huge fan of math. It's my favorite class. So I always love walking into the classroom and just like doing the work. It's the greatest thing ever for me. Once again, moving on to things that I just want to point out and say about my life and the channel and what's going to be happening. A lot of exciting things have been going on in my life recently. For example, I got glasses. I got two lovely beta fish. It's a long story of why. Um, maybe I'll tell it in a different video, but their names are Margarita and Mary, if you know, you know. I learned how to straighten my hair. This is what it looks like straight. This is what it looks like normally. And I've been painting my nails a lot recently. These two are things that I like to do and enjoy, not anything I'm doing for anyone else. Don't try and look good for anyone but yourself, because it only matters that you like the way that you look and you're happy. I tried to film a day in my life vlog over the summer, but I got like most of the way done with it and then my mom still said no even though I didn't show my face. So that happened. I was pretty annoyed, but I got over it. And maybe when I actually turn 14 and can like show my face, I'll do a summer vlog then. Now back to things relating to the channel. This school year I think I'm going to be really trying to grow my channel some more and that's because I really love creating and I want to spread my art with all of you out there on the internet. Now, I think that this video is coming to a close, so thank you all so much for watching. I'm really sorry for not posting in a while. I hope that you like the art in this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye!